to your bi-weekly love reading from May 1st through the 15th, 2018. Hope you guys are all doing well. Thanks so much for joining me today. I am the good, the bad, and the tarot. Here to bring, your, bring you your bi-weekly love messages and energies. And for your reading today, I'm using the Under the Roses Lenormand deck. By the way, I know I, I feel like a broken record, but lots of people want to know which decks I'm using and to save time. I will answer that question now, so be sure to watch this if you want to know what decks I'm using. Um, yes, the Under the Roses Lenormand deck for your mini Lenormand reading, which I'm doing at the beginning of the tarot reading. Um, and then for the primary deck, I'm using the Charmin Caselli tarot, and this is by Juliet Charmin Burke and Giovanni Caselli. This was actually the first tarot deck I ever purchased, and my most reliable and most accurate. For clarification cards, I will be using the Nicoletta Ciccoli Tarot Mini. Uh, there's also a large deck uh, with the same cards, but this is the mini deck. Perfect for clarifying core cards, uh, you know, any card that poses a conundrum in the reading. So we'll be using that throughout the reading. I have a quick announcement. I am running a promotion this week. Um, if you want to book a private reading with me, click open the description below. You'll find my website scheduling page. Um, be sure to use my coupon code this week when you schedule or book. It is uh, I Love Tarot, I L U V T A R O T 23, when you book to receive 25% off any reading. Okay, so that's a super good deal. Um, I'm running this promotion, especially for people that haven't tried my services yet, haven't tried it, uh, having a private reading with me, and uh, you'll save 25% off that reading. So, very good deal. Um, I urge you to take advantage of that as it will expire on the 5th of May. After the 5th of May, that will no longer be, I will no longer have that promotion, and likely not for a while. So, take advantage of it now uh, while you can. So uh, let's get started with your reading. We're going to start with the mini Lenormand reading first. All right, Gemini, I pulled the writer and the whip for you. So I'm seeing that there may be a need for mediation. This could be in any area of your life, uh, you know, particularly relationships. But I'm seeing the need for mediation because uh, there may be some news coming that will bring quarrels or will bring quarrelsome energy to you. Um, so there is a need for mediation and I'm also seeing some news coming in that could be agitating, uh, bringing up quarrels, um, stirring up something. Um, that's what I'm seeing here, okay? And uh, we're going to move on to the bi-weekly love reading portion. Hi Gemini, welcome to your bi-weekly love reading from May 1st through the 15th, 2018. Let's go ahead and get started. Thank you guys for your patience while I get your readings out as usual. I'm running a little bit behind. And um, yeah, these readings have been taking me a while to get out. So thanks for your patience. Be sure to like, comment, and share. Subscribe if you haven't. All right, let's see, what is this? Seven of Cups. The Seven of Cups popped out there. I felt the need to turn it over. So someone may be contemplating uh, options with regards to dating. There could be confusion, um, feeling of general. Uh, it's a creative card to me. The Seven of Cups is about creativity as well and brainstorming. But that you could also be lost in some kind of a fantasy world here. Seven of Cups is Neptune in Pisces. What are the bi-weekly love messages and energies for the sign of Gemini, air sign Gemini, from May 1st through the 15th, 2018? This is our bi-weekly love reading. For all Gemini suns, moons, risings, Gemini's on the cusp, 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 and also if you have your Venus and Gemini. If you're not sure uh, which are Mars or Venuses, you can go to astro.com and type in your information there or any other uh, astrology calculator. I do, offer, uh, I do offer a natal chart reading, a natal chart analysis. If you'd like uh, me to do it for you, I can. 
my weekly love messages and energies for the sign of Gemini. Nope, 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 nope. Let's do one more here. Gemini suns, oh, they're telling me one more. Gemini suns, moons, risings. Gemini's on the past cusp, but also Venus and Gemini. your current situation. What is helping or hindering you? What has put you here? What you may be thinking and feeling? Your recent past? Your near future? And at the bottom of the deck we do have the Eight of Wands in reverse. This can be some kind of uh, issues with communication. Uh, things may be happening too quickly or there could be blocked communication here. Uh, as you can see, he's, the arrow is pointing down, so there's no uh, transmission, effective transmission. Okay, uh, the, the wheel of fortune, fate turns in your favor, but um, I'm seeing if you're communicating with a fire sign or if you're dealing with a, a fire sign, uh, there may be issues uh, with sending and receiving communications or blocked communications, such as over the social networks such as over text message, uh, phone, etc. Email is what I meant to say as well. You have the temperance card in your current situation. Your challenge is the king of cups in reverse. Okay. Uh, I'll just leave that there. What has put you here is the hermit card in reverse. Your thoughts and feelings are the seven of pentacles. Your recent past, you have the Nine of Pentacles. And your near future, you have the Two of Pentacles. I'm going to want to go in and clarify some of these cards here in just a minute. But uh, so you have Temperance, so you are healing from something. I also see that you're, um, this to me is balancing fire and water. So you could be dealing, like I, I have a, a water sign here. Could be dealing with a Scorpio Cancer Pisces. Um, this is about taking the middle way. So moderation, balance, and everything. And Buddhism is the middle path, the number eight. So our eight life path. And also we have the sign of Sagittarius here. But with all the rainbows here, I just feel healing. I feel balanced. Um, needing to practice the virtue of patience and um, I just see uh, you also need to, yeah well you don't need to but you are relaxing here this can be a, a very calm peaceful energy your challenge is uh, the king of cups in reverse so you may be dealing with a, an emotionally unavailable man of, of the water sign uh, with water sign attributes, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, and uh, this could be someone that has intense negative feelings. They may be clamming up when it comes to their emotions. They may just simply not understand their difficult emotions at this time. Uh, unable to express themselves emotionally. Um, this could be someone of importance to you that has strong water placements, uh, likely, you know, even someone that has like Venus and Pisces or Venus and Venus and Cancer, although I would say this more as Venus and Pisces, but Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, man here. Now what has put you here is the Hermit in reverse. So some of you feeling lost and lonely, needing to withdraw. Uh, you've done a lot of soul searching already. You've heard everyone else's opinions on it. You've heard your own. You've listened to your own guidance, uh, but I'm also seeing this could be someone who's sleeping or taking a, a, a long, I'm getting like a sabbatical almost. <laughs> so it could be that there was a lot of time spent in meditation and prayer. Uh, you know, this is very antisocial energy. Uh, some of you may have been like this uh, in the past. But in your, your distant past or your more recent past, you have the Nine of Pentacles. So I'm seeing someone here who is self-sufficient, um, freedom, 
freedom loving, you know, bachelor, bachelorette here, someone that can take care of themselves. Uh, they have everything they could possibly want for. This is the most stable energy that you can have in terms of pentacles uh, without it getting to the point of being, um, without even getting to the ten of pentacles. Um, I'm just seeing someone here who can take care of themselves. Um, I'm, I'm actually quite, you know, this is a beautiful card um, to have in your past. Um, the relationship between the woman and the falcon, it, falcon is that of trust and she knows that this bird will come back to her. She understands that uh, uh, the need for freedom in relationships and, and so forth and in life. Uh, the only thing she may be lacking is maybe love, but I feel like that will come, especially when if you're in a position like this where you, you know how to take care of yourself, you can stand on your own two feet, you um, you're practicing temperance. This is really fantastic. I, I do feel like you, you had needed to withdraw for a, quite a while in order to get to this place. Um, but, uh, challenges here is dealing with this water sign and this person doesn't, uh, may not be opening up to you at this time. They may not uh, feel comfortable with their own emotions. In terms of your thoughts and feelings, you have the seven of pentacles, which is about waiting for results. Um, you've had some success here, okay, also in your past. Uh, you're deciding what to do with this pentacle. You have this wide open field here. So assessing the situation, weighing out the pros and cons, doing kind of like a wait and see approach, um, thinking about things practically, uh, you may just in general be waiting for uh, things to turn up for you, and turn around for you, or to see uh, what else might um, might happen here. But again, you know, you've had your harvest. You just, um, I think you're at a, a place where you're evaluating things and you are like I said, waiting for results in terms of maybe this person. Uh, but you're being very patient about it. I'm seeing that there's no rush. There's no rush. Going into your <laughs> near future, you have the Two of Pentacles. This will be closer to the middle of May. And this is about juggling. Okay, so you may have more than one person that you're interested in as a possibility. I also see travel here. Um, work and play become something of a hobby for you. You uh, take a playful attitude. You're flexible and adaptable when it comes to your relationships. You understand how to balance the two. Again, I'm not seeing anyone here who's rushing. I feel like you are like the juggler in life here. You take things as they come. Now, there's a diminishing from the seven to the two. So it's, it's possible to say that you are paring down in some respects. But um, what I, what I, what I, what I want to say is that I don't see anything serious here. I don't see a serious relationship or serious uh, desire to control. So it, to me, it looks very balanced. You're moving towards balancing juggling, um, going back and forth, uh, incremental changes here. There is progress, this just might be slower, more incremental. So working with a lot of the earth energy available to you, you know, in Taurus season, we have the sign of Virgo, the sign of Sagittarius, we have uh, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, so you don't have any fire energy uh, except at the bottom of the deck here. So let's go ahead and clarify the King of Cups. Who is the King of Cups in reverse? Or what is this King of Cups? What do we need to know about the King of Cups here? Coming up in the reverse position. They just pop out when they're ready. Nine of Swords in reverse. You could be dealing with someone that is very stressed um, 
dealing with a lot of stress, pressure. Why is the King of Cups coming up in reverse? Now, if you have water placements, strong water placements, this could also be an aspect of your personality. Ten of Cups, well, this person is quite happy. And uh, this is good, actually, in a relationship situation. Just in the past, they may have been dealing with some stressful stuff. Um, I do see happiness here, uh, emotional security. That's too many cards, guys. I saw the Emperor come out. But let me see. Why is the... Give me one more card for the King of Cups coming up in reverse here. This can also be a man that has a uh, water sign rising, a, wa a rising water sign or a, a moon coming very through very strongly. Too many cards, but I have the Six of Wands. Success, victory, admiration. We have the uh, chariot, things moving forward, and the four pentacles, so stability. Uh, I do feel like things will improve for this person, but he is coming up in your challenge position. Um, let's uh, clarify the two of pentacles. Why is the two of pentacles coming up in the future for Gemini? Okay, we have the strength card, so triumph over evil, needing to be strong. Also, the lust. I'm seeing lust here. Strong bonds. Two of Pentacles. Why is the Two of Pentacles coming up in the picture? Eight of Pentacles. Work, commitment, discipline, and focus. Five of Pentacles. Uh, there could be someone here feeling left out or lonely. But we have the Knight of Wands, and again, we've got the King of Cups coming up again in your future. So, uh, you could also be dealing with a fire sign and a water sign. The fire sign would be someone more in and out, uh, more uh, that kind of... The, the water sign here is very stable. Um... You may be getting to know both of these people at this time. I feel like you have a strong bond with each of them. Um, likewise, uh, this does look like a very passionate, very fun situation. So, again, at the bottom of the deck, you have the Eight of Wands in reverse. I'll put these in order. Um, with the Wheel of Fortune, the Nine of Wands. The Page of Wands in Reverse, and the Hanged Man. So, um, there seems to be, I would say, uh, more issues with communicating with a fire sign. Um, there could also be um, Mrs. Pisces, Exalted in Leo. Uh, there may be a situation where things are on hold, um, and I do see things changing in the future, for sure. Um, someone here, the fire sign, if you're dealing with the fire sign, seems to be putting in quite a bit of, um, or exercising a, sorry, exercising a bit of, um, I wouldn't say restraint, but they're definitely, they have their defenses up here. So, um, there could be issues with uh, communications uh, in the future. That's where things are going. But um, I do sense that uh, you do have two. I'm seeing more than one option for most of you out there, or you're dealing with uh, someone who um, may be emotionally unavailable, and so you're dividing your time between maybe you're seeing more than one person and you're just kind of trying to see how things go. You're not uh, putting all your eggs in one basket is what I'm seeing. So Gemini, um, I'm not sure what I'm going to name this reading yet, but 
I think your strategy is good going forward. I like where it's headed. I wish you all the best and thanks for watching. If you'd like to book a private reading, again, links below in the description for my website and scheduling page. And I'll talk to you guys soon. Take care.